Application of Evidence Theory to Construction Projects Introduction No construction project is risk-free and risk can be managed, minimized, shared, transferred or accepted. Making decisions at diverse stages of the project life cycle based on sound evidence must therefore be made to reduce risk and bring the project to a successful outcome. Evidence items supporting or opposing the various construction options may vary in terms of reliability, completeness, precision and may contain conflicting information. To address these limitations within construction project decision making, an evidential reasoning framework to support decision analysis using information fusion techniques to manage uncertainty and conflict in evidence sources should be employed. Background Over the past two decades, considerable research has been conducted on integrating techniques from artificial intelligence and operational research for handling uncertain information. Following on from this line of research, an evidential reasoning approach was developed for multi-criteria decision analysis under uncertainty based on an evaluation analysis model and the Dempster Schaefer theory of evidence. However, it is claimed that the classical aggregation rules such as the Dempster rule are known to poorly take conflict into account. So a method based on the Dizer Smandag theory will be investigated here, which replaces the aggregation step by two successive fusion processes. Its main objective is to take into account information imperfection, source reliability and conflict. However, a problem occurs since the importance of criteria is a different concept than the classical reliability concept developed and used in the belief theory context. Where Dempster Schaefer can represent ignorance caused by lack of information and can aggregate beliefs when new evidence is accumulated, Isers Mandag can be considered as a generalization of Dempster Schaefer whereby the rule of combination takes into account both uncertain and paradoxical information. Evidence sources involved in the fusion process may not always have equal reliability or importance. Reliability can be viewed as an objective property of an evidence source whereas importance is viewed as a subjective property expressed by an expert. Counterintuitive results could be obtained if unequal sources are fused and these factors are not taken into consideration. Therefore, two discounting techniques, the reliability discounting using Schaefer's classical discounting approach and importance discounting based on the importance discounting technique are applied. A maximal consistent subset is constructed to help in defining where discounting should be applied. To evaluate the proposed framework, a scenario from the construction industry is presented concerning external risks of three large-scale projects in different countries. The risk assessment of the three large-scale projects, large shopping malls, concentrated on political, economic, social and weather threats. The large-scale projects were of similar design, architecture, construction technology, area and number of floors. The basics of evidential reasoning theory, combination rules and reliability discounting and importance discounting techniques, as well as a description of the relatively new desersman dark approach, are detailed in the paper. Case study a team of three construction project experts were given the task of selection of a project from three potential projects, new one to new three, situated in different countries which has the least risk from the point of view of external risks, namely political, economic, social and weather. 
The experts jointly assigned importance and reliability values and to determine if the potential construction sites were consistent with these values, evidence was found from 20 heterogeneous sources, including four government statistical documents, eight academic journals, five books and three blogs from the internet. These sources varied in terms of certainty and consistency and probably contained some national bias. The resulting database probably contained conflicting evidence. Four different evidence sources are used to assign belief to the candidates with the estimated respective basic relief assignments M1 to M4 given in Table 1. Maximal Consistent Subset Here the evidential sources represented by basic belief assignments, in this case M1 to M4, are ranked according to their information content. The information content values were obtained using equation 6, shown in the full paper, with M3 and M4 identified as having equally the highest probabilistic information content value. The basic belief assignment M4 was then chosen arbitrarily from these two as the first member of a potential maximal consistent subset. Next, the similarity for the subsets M4, M1, M4, M2 and M4, M3 was calculated with a threshold parameter set at 0.7, which was subjectively judged as an acceptable threshold similarity value and the basic belief assignment most similar was found to be M3, now giving a maximal consistent subset consisting of M4 and M3. Maximal consistent subset continued. The similarity between the basic belief assignments and the current maximal consistent subset and M1 and M2 are now measured with the resulting set M1 to M34 and set M2 to M34 found to be 0.38 and 0.32 respectively, which is much lower than the required threshold and therefore M1 and M2 could not be thought of as members of the maximal consistent subset. To show that conflict must be considered in decision making, a number of examples are now presented using both the proportional conflict redistribution rule number 5 and Dempster's rule of combination. In the three examples below, no discounting, reliability discounting and importance discounting will be demonstrated respectively. No discounting example. In this example, the evidence is fused using both the proportional conflict redistribution rule number 5 and Dempster's rule of combination with no discounting used. This means all sources are presumed to be equal in terms of reliability and importance. Here dissimilar sources nor the maximal consistent subset were not considered. The results are given in Table 2 together with pecnistic values for both of the combination rules. In the table M12 to M1234 refer to the sub fusion of the sources M1 to M4. No discounting example continued. Table 2a shows the results based on the proportional conflict redistribution rule number 5 and Table 2b shows the results based on the Dempster's rule of combination. No discounting example continued. From Table 2, it can be observed that different probability values to the hypothesis were found using proportional conflict redistribution rule number 5 and Dempster's rule of combination. Dempster's rule of combination uniformly distributes over all focal elements of 2 to the power theta the total conflicting mass, which results potentially in misleading and even incorrect results. The proportional conflict redistribution rule number 5, on the other hand, 
seems to obtain much more realistic values in that conflicting masses were transferred to non-empty sets in proportion. Reliability discounting. Reliability weightings are found using basic belief assignments and depend on the sources from which the basic information was found. In this case, books, lambda 1, blogs from the internet, lambda 2, academic journals, lambda 3, and government statistical documents, lambda 4, were used with the discounting factors assigned being lambda 1 equals 0 0.1, lambda 2 equals 0 0.5, lambda 3 equals 0 0.1, and lambda 4 equals 0. From the maximal consistent subset analysis above, it was appropriate to apply reliability discounting to the dissimilar sources M2 and M4 only. The results when reliability discounting was used and evidence sources combined using proportional conflict redistribution rule number 5 and Dempster's rule of combination are shown in table 3. Reliability discounting continued. Table 3a, proportional conflict redistribution rule number 5, and table 3b, Dempster's rule of combination. Reliability discounting continued. It can be seen that both Dempster's rule of combination and proportional conflict redistribution rule number 5 assign the highest belief to project new 2 followed by new 1 when consistent subsets and reliability factors are taken into consideration. This would indicate that by considering reliability discount factors the conflict between M2 and M4 has been reduced. It can be noticed that the results of Table 3 are in contrast to those of Table 2, where discounting was not imposed for the Dempster rule of combination in that the discounted mass was placed to theta. Importance discounting example. Evidence was ranked in order of importance using expert opinion for the four external threats posed to each project. This is political, kappa 1, economic, kappa 2, social, kappa 3, and weather, kappa 4, with the four basic belief assignments set at kappa 1 equals 0 0.9, kappa 2 equals 0 0.4, kappa 3 equals 0 0.7, and kappa 4 equals 0 0.2. Proportional conflict redistribution rule number 5 is used in this example with M1 and M3 found with the highest importance. Both of these are also members of the maximal consistent subset and by applying importance basic belief assignments to M2 and M4, the changes in the results can be viewed in table 4 where new 2 remains the highest followed again by new 1. Importance discounting example continued. Table 4. Dempster's rule of combination. The results above show how the use of consistency and discounting contribute to decision support systems. Conclusions. This paper provides an overview of an evidential reasoning framework with application to the construction project domain. It was found important when dealing with conflicting and uncertain information to take consistency and discounting into account before to obtain good data for decisions. Further work needs to be completed to investigate the effect of using different, possibly more sophisticated measures of similarity and the ensuing impact on results. The Deserts Marandag theory of fusion will be incorporated into a multi-criteria decision-making algorithm as the main method of aggregation. References 1 to 7 References 8 to 13 References 14 to 18 
please note that the theoretical background has been omitted in order to focus on the application to construction projects. Thank you very much for your interest and please feel free to contact the first author for questions by email. Thank you again.